to all my artelicious buddies welcome to artisha's art world in this video we will be painting this beautiful art journaling page and i will take you through step by step all through this tutorial so i really hope that you will enjoy it and so let's get started so over here i'm checking out my absolutely brand new mold sky which i really really love a lot you know I mean I was so excited at this time you know I was checking every part of it the book that uh, the book of the history that you know comes behind it so it was a lot of fun so I key, I decorate it a bit with its own stickers and then get on to start with my first page on the small sky uh, so I start by covering this page with one layer of gesso the gesso will make the paper very smooth and normally if we work on the paper directly using our paints the paints will just get absorbed into the paper and you know the gesso makes it really smooth and easy to work with acrylic paints on paper but it's absolutely not compulsory to have this layer of gesso you know even you can even directly work uh, on the paper if you like it but i decided to play with my gesso thing first So that is what I am doing over here. So next I painted the paper with some light yellow and dark yellow stripes. But unfortunately my camera broke down and it did not record. So you know I am doing that step again uh, for you over here. Using my dark yellow iron and my light yellow I am painting the stripes on the paper. These stripes are the first layer of that went on to this journal page you know i've done stripes over here but you feel free to do anything you like you know you make circles you uh, just drip paint whatever you know feel free to start with whatever kind of layer you like so next i'm experimenting over here with my old makeup brush you know i picked up some blue in my old makeup brush and without using any water i am just giving some dry brush strokes on the first layer of the stripes that we did of course to try the makeup brush on my uh, painting was absolutely a rubbish idea because you know the hair kept falling and it was not good at all but you know one thing i would like to tell you over here that feel free to experiment with whatever you get whatever you like don't be afraid to have fun and experiment with whatever you have around you you know after all it's just your art journal so your private playground to play with your art so over here i am applying some blue paint around the borders using my fingers I took some designer paper and with some gloopy glue I am sticking the designer paper on two sides of my page. So if you don't have any designer paper you can uh, go ahead use a magazine paper or a newspaper. One more thing that don't get stuck with materials, you know. But what materials you use is not important at all. the fun that you're having playing around in your journal with your paints with your imagination that is the most important thing so over here i'm again applying some uh, blue color around the borders of my page a bit with my black permanent marker i am making some flowers around the designer papers that we had stuck earlier now 
Now over here with a green gel pen, I am adding some textures to the flowers. Isn't this journal page turning out to be so pretty and you know so much fun to work with? Now I was searching through some magazine for a nice uh, beautiful picture of a lady so I found this picture and I decided to cut out only the head. I stick the head again using my regular glue nothing special on one side of the um, journal page. And then what I do is add some hair and shoulders to her and again with some black permanent marker I gave outlines to her face. Now using a blue paint I gave some shading to her face you know the darker portion of her face I shaded them again with my blue color and with the same blue color I did her hair. Now over here I am doodling around her eyes using my uh, white Signo gel pen and coming back again uh, with my black permanent marker I will be doodling on her face a bit to make it more interesting. fun is are these doodles you know look you know her face is turning out to be so beautiful doodle 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 you know add whatever kind of doodles you like you don't have to copy me at all add doodles add words around that that inspire you you know like this word dream because i'm a big dreamer and i'm a big believer in my dreams so you know dream is the word that has to go around on my journal pages a lot so i wrote dream on her uh, chin and continue to doodle around with that black permanent marker Next, I take some blue beads and arrange them around her hair and then again using the same glue, I stick them on her hair. And then using a white paint, I'll just doodle around those beads to make them look more beautiful and interesting.
after I'm done with my doodling around her hair and all the doodles and everything I wanted, the last thing I do is add an inspirational quote that really inspires me, that makes me feel good. And you know, whenever I open this journal page, you know, that uh, quote reminds me of what I want to be. So, so this one says, live your passion. Absolutely, I completely believe in this because I am myself living my passion. Art is my passion and sharing my art with you is my passion. And I encourage you also to do the same, you know, go ahead, live your passion, live your dream, you know. And I know for sure that if you will continue to run behind your passion, run behind your dreams, all your dreams will surely come true. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and will absolutely give it a try in your journal page as well. And let me know in the comments below what you thought about the voiceover behind this tutorial. For the because because for the first time my voiceover is not scripted where I am just saying what, what I'm doing. In this voiceover I was I actually tried to uh, speak to you all as I am painting. So you know this was my first time and it was very different for me. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as your thumbs up really helped me spread a word about my art. If you would like to watch the real time video of this beautiful journal page, don't forget to check out my Patreon link which will be right there in the down bar and the downloadable image of this beautiful journal page is available on my Etsy store. So even that link will be right there in the down bar. So till I see you next time. Bye. Happy creating.